comes a story of love and cooking. It's an old family recipe. You start with a mother's love for a son. With this smoke whooping my eyes. Be a man, take the smoke. Blend with a wife's love for a husband. If you don't need my services, I can take them elsewhere. Or you can take them to. <laughs> Somewhere where they appreciate it. Garnish with the love of one spicy sister. You're not hanging there right. Hang it up, father. Well, if you do. Do what, father? What, you want me to climb the pole? Yeah, climb the pole. Everybody's going to love this dish because everybody loves Chef. Here we go right here. I'm Chef Jannard Wells, also known as the Love Chef, and I cook for love. Food is directly connected to everything we do. Man, I can create anything that will cook the drawers off somebody. Hey, I remember. If guys trying to get a girl and they want to impress on the first date, guess what they do? They call the Love Chef up. I cook the meal, leave out the back door. She comes in, eat it, he takes all the credit. Thank you. Uh, I became a love chef when I was a young teen, operating my first restaurant out of my mother's house. Janard is a true entrepreneur. And later developed into something so much bigger than what I ever would foresee it to be. I own a very highly effective catering business. I also own a sauce manufacturing business where I make all kinds of sauces and seasons. Ultimately, my goal is to take over the world one bite at a time. Would you throw this away for me and grab me a towel, please, sir? When I come home from a long day at work, I still have kids lined up waiting to get fed. As a matter of fact, I have nine kids. <laughs> Your great, great grandma rolling pin. Jannar comes from a long line of big families. On his father's side, his grandfather had 32 children. Go ahead and drive me crazy. They drive me crazy. I was like, I should have did a background check on you and your family. That should have been my question. How many kids do you want to have, and how many kids did your dad have? Jack it down, Chef. Jack it down. My latest adventure was to open up a gourmet foodie store. Jernard runs his food business with his wife, his mother, and his sister. He never heard the one about too many cooks in the kitchen. That table can't sit in the middle of the floor. In the middle of the floor. Are you all trying to team up on me? However you take it, nobody want to sit in the center of the floor. There's always too many chiefs and no Indians. Everybody wants to be the boss. Put it back. But if this is the way Who he wanted, you? if this is the way he wanted be done, quiet. then it's going to be, be that way. Who asked you? What can I do with these three ladies? There we go. Yeah, let's get the little crust out of eye. Now, I still don't see it. You're going to refuse to agree. All right. What I'm talking about, I'm talking about number one. I am the pastry chef. I make pastries because I'm sweet and I'm the mother of love. Yeah, time to rotate. Come on with it. Who's the real boss? I am, of course. Did mama teach you everything you know? I don't know. Let's start with my mom. Gwen, our relationship is real close. And that's really what the problem is with Keena. Okay, so I'm here now. What do you want me to do? You know you don't belong in the kitchen. Get back. Gwen and I definitely don't see eye to eye. Who gives you coffee? With me, here? Yeah, with me, here. Yeah, we always get our grandchildren coffee. She comes in and it's just like a grizzly bear. Coffee is not good for you. Your grandparents have issues. Tina gets in the way. They believe in that backwood parenting. Give them coffee, give them dirt. They gonna be all right. Leave my grandchild alone. Talk to the hand. It becomes a headache. I love my favorite daughter-in-law. She oh, your only daughter-in-law. Daughter <laughs> I enjoy pushing her buttons, you know. Did you get the labels for that last night? Kena. I'm usually what I like to say marketing and PR. Do you got one for the pink lemonade? I'm trying to generate new business. Who let Ricky bust the sleeves out the shirt? I don't know. He all, he was looking like that when I got here. Jannard's kitchen staff, they're like a bunch of kids. I mean, you got to keep reeling those jokes in. We got stuff to do, and he out doing something. He's trying to get, get away from us. I call it lollygagging. Cheers, success. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hello? Where are you? I had to go come back and see a man about another horse. Did it take all of y'all to go? We have somewhere to be at 5.30. It's 4.48. <laughs> <laughs> and did he hang up on me and didn't say bye? All right, as we were. <laughs> <laughs> 
This a well of hair. Y'all should buy me. I handle all his businesses, making sure events come together. And I'm not gonna let nobody take advantage of my brother. What's that, your crib tonight? Marquitas like to run. And if you ever know, like the run puppies, those are always the ones that fight, always angry. I step in when I need to. And when did, when did you need to? When things are not going right and in order. Mm -hmm. I rely on Marquita because Marquita say stuff that normally I wouldn't say. That's my cup. Oh, well, it's my cup today. She's hot-headed, just like Gwen, and you can't tell her anything. I cook for what? I cook for what? Those two chefs that we have, I always catch them doing things that they're not supposed to be doing. Oh my God! You either gonna work or you gonna go home. You're not my boss. They just yeah 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 yeah. Everybody wanna be the boss. Y'all supposed to been doing this, not doing this. But I'm the true boss. I'm just gonna leave it like that. To be honest, I don't feel neither one of them need a job. Bow your heads real quick. With this many cooks in the kitchen, things can always go a little crazy. But you know what? Don't worry, I got this. For it is all in your hands, and we thank you. Amen. Eat.